Recently, I was asked, what is something that you believed in strongly as a debut artist that you don't believe in now? Well, I used to believe that you had to suffer for your art, that if you wanted to make a masterpiece, you should be pushing yourself as hard as possible, that gold is forged in fire. And I'm happy to say, truly happy to report that I don't believe that anymore. It took me listening to a podcast, actually, The Armchair Expert, to realize I had this belief in the first place. The co-hosts, Dak Shepard and Monica Padman, were talking about acting and how insane of a job it is. By the way, they're both actors. Dax was saying how top actors get paid an extraordinary amount of money to get to pretend in front of a camera. And these actors may feel guilty. Some may make things hard on themselves to even this out, as if it's unfair to be able to enjoy the whole process of acting. I realized in that instant, I do that with my job too. I can't believe I get to spend my time painting. And then on top of that, I also get paid for it. I think to make it seem fair, I wanted to feel a sort of struggle. I mean, after all, didn't all the great old painting masters suffer for their art? This was definitely emphasized in my atelier, where I learned how to paint and draw in the classical style. It truly was like a boot camp for classical painting technique. You didn't take sick days, you stood at your easel painting all day, and you worked no matter what. You worked if you were sick, if it was unreasonably hot and humid in the summers and you were at risk for heat exhaustion, or in the coldest days of winter after taking the train in, I would have to take my boots off and hold my feet in front of the space heaters to get the feeling back in my toes. And I held these sufferings as a badge of honor and it made me feel like a very serious artist. I do think that there is a bond with my studio mates because we toughed this out together, but I, I don't think that you need to suffer together to form bonds. I think you can also bond through just the pure enjoyment of process and just being together in a happy state. I'm reading this book called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Aker. I really recommend it. It's a very good book. And it argues that the brain actually performs better and more excellently when it's happy. It says that success follows happiness rather than happiness following success. And I've been putting this into practice and I have to say I am truly painting better now. I'm finding the more I focus on making myself happy and taking care of while I paint, the more I can get into that delicious flow state that I'm always, always chasing after. It's the little things like eating good food throughout the day and taking breaks that are focused on making me feel happy. I love the artwork I'm making right now. And perhaps more importantly, I love the whole process of making the artwork.